thankfully for me, I have a mastermind of a father. <laughs> Don't commit unless you feel really good about it. Yeah! Oh, it's so cute! Hi friends, good morning. I am breaking so many rules for myself because I'm starting another vlog just back to back to back. I've been vlogging every day since I got to this apartment. I told myself in the new year, I had this whole like filming schedule, but moving rules are different because we're doing so much and I don't wanna, I don't wanna miss it. I wanna include y'all in it cause it's fun. So this is a Saturday, starting a new vlog on a Saturday. My parents are actually en route because they are adorable and kind and are gonna help me hang some things slash I left a lot of things at their house because I went straight from their house to California to here. So I have plants, I have some kitchen stuff, I have all of my pantry things, some clothes, some packages. They're bringing all that and they're bringing their dog so that Max and May can have a play date, which will be so good for Max and I'm really excited about that. And we are going to just hang as many things as we can. I'm really, excited my main big goals are hanging the shelf in the little like den room so that i could put the projector on it hanging the projector screen some curtains my sconces in here and they're gonna help me get my coffee tables out of the car because my dad has a furniture roller so that will be helpful i have ordered a ton of pantry things from thrive market they are partnering with me on today's video which is perfect timing i also stocked up on a lot of cleaning supplies from them because i don't have many from my last apartment and i also just wanted to switch to like cleaner cleaning supplies too i am so excited to open that package and we could do that as soon as I finish getting ready, I just wanted to say hi, hey, hello. Glad you're here and give you a little update for the day. I'm really excited for this box. It's a big one this time, guys. It's heavy because there's so many things I needed for the new apartment and there's so many more things that I need to get actually. But I was just checking my receipt. Guess how much money I saved on my um, order this time as opposed to if I were to go out and buy it in the store. I saved $36, which is awesome. I'm sure you've heard me talk about Thrive Market by now, but in case you haven't, they're an online organic grocery retailer. They're membership based and they deliver to you. So you could do a monthly membership. I do the annual membership. I pay for it myself because it only comes to $5 a month when you pay for the whole year. And then you get access to their products, which are like such high quality, so many organic things, things that I have to go to specialty stores, multiple specialty stores to find. I saved $36 this order. Normally I save an average of like $20, $25 an order. So the membership pays for itself really quickly. And if by the end of the year, you don't make back your membership and savings, Thrive Market will actually refund you. So there's nothing to lose. But I'm gonna show you what I got. Look at what all is in here. First snacks. I really like it too, especially if you have dietary restrictions because you could filter by your dietary restriction. So I just click the gluten-free button and it only shows me things gluten-free, which is really nice not having to click and read the label and blah, 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 make sure you can have it. I just like, like a normal person, add what I want and don't have to think twice about it. But there's also vegan, paleo, keto. There's dozens of different ways to filter the selections. So where do you want to start? Food, cleaning? Let's, let's do food. I got, you know, some basics. We have gluten-free rolled oats. Oh, their brand, their Thrive Market brand is like their in-house brand. The pricing is phenomenal. The quality is phenomenal. So I always go for their brand whenever I can. Like with their rice, we got some jasmine rice, some cassava, gluten-free pasta, black beans. So I just kind of got like beans and rice things. And then a lot of home things. We have parchment paper, aluminum foil. This brand is If You Care, which is awesome. It's compostable, chlorine-free. I got silicone baking mats because they're usable. Then I got some cleaning things. I think that this is their brand, this Rosie. I got glass cleaner, all-purpose cleaner, toilet bowl cleaner, dish soap, um, fruit and veggie wash, and some little scrubbers. And that is it for this round, but look at that. Look at all that. I saved quite a bit of money on that. And I didn't have to go to the store. It was delivered to me. So I will have my link in the description for y'all. It gets you two things. Um, Thrivemarket.com slash Jancy will get you 30% off your first order and a free gift valued at up to $60. 
And this is, like I said, this is one of those companies that I was paying for myself before I got to work with them. And it's just a dream come true. And I feel so lucky to have sponsors that I work with on a recurring basis that I just hope I get to work with for as long as I do YouTube, however long that might be, because they make life so much easier and they just have the best things. Okay, I'm gonna put away this stuff. And I think mom and dad are close-ish, meh. They're running a little behind because they said, you have a lot more stuff than we realized and it took us a while to pack up the car. Sorry, mom. <laughs> okay, parents are officially 10 minutes away, but I think that's just enough time for a little package unboxing. I have my big water filter in there. Do you want to be a part of it, Max? Up, up. Yes, there you go. Ooh, I see a bath mat. So I got a few different little bath mats. This one is the most bright. These are all like 15 bucks. Um, actually the big one I got was, it's bigger, so it's a little bit pricier. Uh, this is not a toy. It's a little sunshine. I thought it could be fun maybe in the powder bath. Maybe I have another alternative um, because I'm trying to do that one a little bit funkier. What do I think this is? Oh, my Nespresso little tank fell and shattered <laughs> and I've been still using it but I have to empty it out between every time because or else it leaks on the counter like all of the water comes out onto the counter so that's that okay we have bath mats we also have I got these little plastic hangers to rehang my caraway like lids if you've seen the lid organizer I'm hoping those will hold them up okay this one I'm excited for this one I figured I might use one in the kitchen I might use one in the bathroom We'll see. But this one is also kind of funky and fun. And I think that should go in the powder bath. This feels like a lot better quality than the other one too, like heavier, thicker. That's pretty cute. I'm excited to see that. And then I got this one from my bathroom because my bathroom is like shorter than my last one, but a lot wider. So I think this is literally a three by five rug. It's an area rug, but I'm gonna use it as like a big bath mat. All right, thank you for your assistance, sir. This is very helpful. Wow, okay, this is like, if you can see, it's kind of checkered. There's a lot of fibers coming off of it. It's kind of checkered, but all in one color, so it's like long, short, long, short. I think we should see how these look in the bathrooms. Do we have time? We have time, we have seven minutes. Let's go, Max, let's go. What do we think, bud? Do you like it? You're just showing your, you're just showing your butt to the camera. I've been giving him most of his meals in a little like, burrow mat just for mental stimulation and it makes him not just scarf down his food so i think he's probably wondering if there's food in that <laughs> but look that's cute that's cute and fun okay big one let's see how this size works Ooh. ah i need some rug tape for sure i did know it was going to kind of be the perfect size but for like how wide the bathroom is i'm proud of it I think it's a good size and it's like neutral but still has a hint of something like kind of modern you know what i mean i heard a text i wonder if it's mom and dad <laughs> this is the best entertainment oh, okay <laughs> we are bringing in the table the first of two and i'm so glad that we have this furniture roller um, but i'm gonna have to do this over again when i get the rug but for now, all right, there's the first. Oh. Woo! Let's go get the second. We can Okay, so we got in the tables. They look great, thank you for your help. Sure. Um, I got a clip with dad skateboarding down the hallway, so let's just enter that clip right here. Okay. Whoa. <laughs> okay. 
Also, they're doing construction in the hallway, so it's like a video game where it's like, oh, obstacle, <laughs> obstacle, ooh. Yeah, it's too easy otherwise. Yeah, and then we need a little thrill in life, otherwise life's too boring, yeah. huh? Yeah. You know, may maybe let's go ahead and start with shelves okay. first. Okay, that sounds great. And then sconces. The shelves that you handcrafted oh, your very self. Oh, sweet. Okay. You remember those? Yeah, oh, yeah. I'll never forget those. Oh, yeah. yeah they're yeah. perfection. I was proud of those. They are perfection. And awesome. They're, they're in here. Um, this is my this is my do later closet. Everything in here is things to do later. So we have all the things to hang. We have the shelves, the, the curtain rods, the TV that's going to your house. And yeah. Yikes. <laughs> yeah. We're officially hanging the first shelf. A little vlog update. Um, I made an uh oh. I measured something using like there's like virtual tours of this apartment, and before I moved in, I measured this wall to make sure the projector would fit, and I think it's just wrong. So the projector is almost the length of the whole room. So we are going to eventually run to Home Depot and see if we can get things to mount the screen from the ceiling because it's remote control anyway. So when it's up, it'll just be a bar along the ceiling. We put it down and it will block this doorway, but it's fine because there's two doorways into this room. So that's gonna require a Home Depot run, but we have a whole list anyways. And I just got this art in from Etsy. And this is going to cover this little blank wall right here, which should also hopefully hide the cords needed for the projector screen. So that should work out. So our plan is hang these in the bedroom so that we could say we did one more thing and then head out, get lunch, go to Home Depot, hopefully get the right supplies to finish off those couple little projects. But thankfully for me, I have a mastermind of a father. <laughs> this is all you can get. Remember we're doing positive reinforcement. That's right. You say, I am a mastermind. <laughs> okay. I am a mastermind. I am special. I am special. People love me. <laughs> oh, God. <laughs> okay, I am building this water filter. And this is something that's come up several times for me this week. I was having a conversation with friends last night, and I was like, I didn't realize until I was an adult how many things I say wrong because my parents say them wrong. Okay, mom calls the sweetener and sodas a spartame. And it wasn't until I was literally in college studying nutrition that they started talking about aspartame. And I was like, what is that? Is that a Spartame? <laughs> and there's been so many, there's been so many of them. Zagat, like if a restaurant is Zagat rated, we would always say Zagat. And it wasn't until I was watching Gilmore Girls that they talked about a Zagat restaurant. And I was like, what even is that? What even is that Zagat? And this is another one. Just now I was telling mom that I recently learned that this is a water spigot with a G, S-P-I-G-O-T, I think. And I was like, do you, what is this? And she's like, a water spigot, which is what I thought. I don't know how many of those words I have. And my job is talking online to the internet. And I probably sound so stupid all the time. Are there any things that your parents said wrong that you just thought it was that way and you didn't learn until you were an adult, maybe in a publicly embarrassing situation? I would love to know to feel less alone. <laughs> We're gonna try to go to this new really great brunch spot in Austin called Proud Mary's. It's like Australian breakfast, so I think everybody will like it. Avocado toast for me and mom, eggs and bacon for dad, if the weight's not bad, and then Home Depot. So I'll take y'all along in a little montage. Back home, brunch was awesome. I just sealed these tabletops with this. This is what Brittany, the girl who made these tables, told me to get. And it's like 20 bucks, you spray it, 
you leave it for five minutes, you wipe it off, and that will help with like rings if people put glasses down and all that kind of stuff. Marble, granite, and stone. Literally just at Home Depot. So that's a good hack if you have any like, you know, delicate stone things in your house. And um, we got hooks to hang the projector from the ceiling, hopefully. Hoping it works out. And those are all my updates. I'm running water through my new filter. You have to do it a few times. It looks like it's time for round two. And it's a charcoal filter, so it's all coming out kind of like a brown, blackish color. So we're making progress. We're doing all sorts. Oh, I should use this to water my plants. Because these guys need water and don't plants love charcoal? Isn't that a thing, mom? Do what? Don't plants love charcoal? If I like, because I have to run water through this filter and I don't want to waste it, so give it to the plants. I don't know. I mean, I know they like coffee. Maybe. I think there's something about charcoal. I don't know. The internet will tell me, as always. I missed all my little buddies. <laughs> Dad. <laughs> He's trying oh, to I... jimmy rig a ladder. Yeah, you got to do what you got to do. You want to put that on a table. Yeah to reach the ceiling. Yeah. Okay. Okay, it Okay, you're the adult in this situation. Okay. Okay. Okay, let's do it. All right. <laughs> you're a fragile man. Why? What are you saying? You have been in so many terrible accidents. Well, that means you're not fragile, but you're just accident <laughs> You survived all of them. <laughs> Don't commit unless you feel really good about it. Feel really good about it? I feel wonderful about it. Okay. It's a 22 and a half. Okay, we're gonna try the projector. I don't know if this needs batteries, so if not, we'll Oh, it might. <gasps> <laughs> That's pretty cool. It's not in frame yet. Ooh, ah. <laughs> eee, it's, not, it's still not in frame. Here it comes. Here it comes. Ooh. Oh my gosh, it's fantastic. Ah. <laughs> <laughs> Oh, stop, stop, too far, up, stop, 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 stop. So we have the screen up and we have the projector up. I don't know how to adjust it yet. I'll have to play around with that, but I'm hoping that I can hang this little tapestry and like kind of hide this little cord thing going on. I know it's not gonna hide it completely, but we're just gonna see if it like kind of conceals it a little bit. That's like my little design solution. Hardly even there. <laughs> it hides a lot of the ugly part. Cool. What do you think? Let me see. Thanks, Dad. Sure. I might push this side back. Yeah. Yeah! Okay, so it needs to be a shorter throw than up there. So we have this little table that I set up. I'm trying to set up like the Amazon fire stick right now, but I, I'm kind of wondering if I just leave it on this little table and put the table in the closet when I don't want it and then pull it out when I do want it. Cause I really only turn on the TV maybe once a week just for like movie nights with people. It's not ideal, but it works. And it's, it's, it's pretty fun. It's a vibe. It really is a vibe. Yeah, that feels good. Maybe it'll hold it somehow. Very cool. Sweet! Sweet, sweet, right. sweet, sweet. Okay, we're transitioning to comfy Sunday vibes. I was craving sweatpants. <laughs> My body was craving sweatpants and my mouth is craving some hot matcha. So got both those things. We're going to get to decorating. We're going to start with some shelves, maybe some pictures. We'll see where the day takes us.
I strayed from confession Hard as a stone I spent my money Like it came free running on empty on the wrong side of the road okay well you did some things i don't think i love all of them normally the way i decorate is i do something i stare at it for a couple of days and i change it and i stare at it a couple of days and then i i do that a few times until i like it this shelf styling i really like it's very similar to how it was in the last apartment. Just a couple little changes. So we have, you know, my little cactus, a couple books, this vintage scoop I found. There's essential oils in that box. This side has these funky little candlesticks. I got them on a road trip somewhere. Um, this is vintage dominoes. And then I lost a shelf during my last move. So I just needed something tall. So. But the olive of this ties in the new chairs, which is really nice. And this girl got new hair. She has long flowing locks now, and I like that. This little styling, I love the look of one of my Vitruvies here. The only thing is to use it, you have to plug it in. So I'm like, do I just keep the cord nearby and like run a cord when I want to use it? I don't want the cord out all the time, but this I don't really love. So. This is something that we can like thrift for and find the perfect little setup for these tables. And I might feel differently once the couch is here. These shelves, yet again, I like them because it's pretty much exactly like how I ended up with them in the last apartment after playing around with them and moving them all the time. This bookshelf, I think I'm gonna decide that my little board game books are too colorful. Um, I think the pink and the blue are just too much for me in this, but I thought it was cool to put my skateboard up here because I, it has basically art on the underside and I thought that that was really pretty to display. So this, I'm currently giving like a 2 out of 10. <laughs> I'll have to keep playing with it and this is something else that will be really fun to like thrift for and vintage shop for. And the thing is, like my fatal flaw is I want to get everything done at once, but I'm also far too picky to like just go out and buy something. Like I was even thinking I need coasters for the travertine because I don't want people to put glasses on it, but I don't wanna go buy coasters just for the sake of having coasters. I want to like come across the perfect one at a little boutique on a trip or like spend time searching for the most special coasters I can find, even though it's something that I would like to get done now rather than later. And I have that same mentality with everything for my home. I guess it's good to be intentional instead of rather just buy to buy, but also there's the other half of me that wants to have it done and perfect immediately, and that's just not practical. But hung this guy, he's still looking low. I might raise him a third time. Love this art. I know you can't see it when the door is open, but when the door is closed, it's perfect. And we'll need some plants and just to, you know, keep living in it and moving things around as I go but it is feeling better. It really is. The remaining things on my Sunday list start to pick back up. Every time I do anything, I make the spot a mess again. Laundry, take Max on a long walk because the sun is out, which is lovely. He loves to walk in California. It was so nice being there with him because he would walk with me for like a few miles. And in Texas, 80% of the time he doesn't wanna walk. I think if it's not 72 degrees and sunny, he just will not walk because he was spoiled the first five years of his life living in SoCal. And I've been trying so hard to encourage him because the vet says he needs to lose weight. And so I've been doing everything I can, measuring his food, putting his food in the little burrow mat so he can't eat as quickly, taking him on walks. And he just doesn't wanna do it when we're here. But I think today he might oblige because it feels like a good temp and there's sun. I wanted to say thanks again for Thrive Market, <laughs> even though it's so funny. <laughs>
I already got in my next order. There's so many things that you need when you're setting up a new kitchen, you know? Thank you to Thrive Market for partnering with me on this video and for easily supplying my new kitchen with everything I need. I will have my link and all of the information down below with thrivemarket.com slash Jancy to get those couple of little things. 30% off your first order and that free gift valued it up to $60. We love you. We'll see you when Max is six <laughs> for your birthday, bub. Yes, we'll see you for your birthday. Yes, he will. And you're grooming, which is so overdue. Okay, 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 okay. <laughs> Bye.